All right, today I want to go over socializing a protection dog. So often, okay, I get this question all the time and it really bothers me, okay? <laughs> so constantly through emails, in person, right? It's, should I socialize my protection dog? Okay, so my trainers are saying that I should not let anybody touch them, right? To make them reliable, right? So this is the common theme, all right, that I always hear. Yes, you want everybody to pet your dog. Children, anybody that'll pet them, you treat them as a normal dog, a normal puppy, okay? We do not want the dogs growing up having a totally suspicious outlook on the world and life, okay? It's not good, it's not healthy, it can be dangerous if the training is not done well, all right? And there's no reason for that whatsoever, okay? So, all my young puppies, all my clients' young puppies, let everybody pet them, socialize, do not isolate them, do not put them away when guests come over, all right? The kids' friends come over, don't let them play with it, right? Don't do that. Let children play with them. Let the world touch them. If you go out with them, let people touch the dog, the puppy, okay? It you want as social of a dog as possible. You do not want this suspicious time bomb. It is not necessary the mentality that is out there in the, in the protection world, the majority of the thinking is keep them away from people. Don't let strangers touch them. Don't let anybody but the family. Don't right? No, absolutely not, right? Let everybody pet them. So people come to my house, many, many adult protection dogs, play with them, pet them. They're not going to just go bite you or they're not dangerous and I can't trust them and I have to put them away in a room because I don't know if they're gonna bite somebody or not, because I, I can't trust them, because they're not good with people, right? Anybody who comes over, the dogs treat them as if they were a golden retriever or a Labrador, right? Wiggling, hey, how are you? As long as we let everybody in the house, the dogs accept them right away, okay? If we go out in public with them, there's no threat, there's no problem. Anybody can pet and touch them. Go to restaurants, it's safe. If a waitress wants to pet them, they go down and pet them. They're not gonna get bit in the face, right? If we wanna take them on an airplane and have them there with us, everybody's safe. When we take them, you know, especially the airport with so many people walking around them and all, anybody can come up and they ask to pet them, sure right? You want as social a protection dog as you can get, okay? There is no need to have a dog sit there with this suspicion in life and looking around all the time and making him paranoid and it's not healthy, it's not good, it's not safe. You want a very social 
protection dog. Okay? When we need the dog, they're so skilled that we can just turn them on at somebody and they'll instantly go on no matter who it is. Okay? We just shut it back off. They'll go mingle with the people we just made them bark at like it's no issue. They're not going to now, when they're loose, go kill them or bite them. It's all good. Okay? Just like here. These two dogs were just biting this decoy. What? Oh, good girl. Stay good. Stay good. Stay good. Stay away. Stay good. And right after the session, he's patting on me, he's fine, and he can be around them. <laughs> See, it's. There comes up. Yeah. Oh, just. Uh... Here, me with Rocco here with the German Shepherd. After he just lit me up. <laughs> So a good protection dog after training he just ate me up <laughs> and enjoys it that I can still be with him he's stable he's not gonna go kill me after the fact try to attack me everything's good when it's off it's off Rocco come here good boy good boy and this is what a perfect protection dog should be affectionate stable when biting's on, it's on. When it's not, it's not. Right? I can sit there and pet him. And right with Rocco, I hang out with him all the time <laughs> at the house. It should not be dangerous. I should be able to be in the house with these dogs, even if I was the decoy, and I don't have to worry about being bitten or attacked or anything like that. It should be normal. That they're just happy and go lucky, and we sit there, we get pet, and walk. Normal life. Unless turned on, then it's on. So it's always this thing with trainers that it's like if you make them social, then they're not going to bite anybody if, when you need it. <laughs> right? That is so untrue. If they're trained well, right that is not true at all so don't do those things that i've heard for 25 years in this game till today i still hear it all the time put the puppy or dog away and don't let anybody be around it when people come over <laughs> when you have a party or anything put the dog away in the room and isolate it you don't want it social you don't want people touching it and engaging with it don't do those things, okay? It is not good. So, again, from young, let them engage with anybody and everybody. Children, other dogs, let them be, okay? We want a very social dog with people and with dogs, Okay, it's, I cannot state the importance of this and not to listen to that kind of stuff. So, that is my rant <laughs> for today. It's such an important subject and I get it all the time. I just wanted to clarify this, bring it out because... I've never really talked about it on video. I might have done little tiny bits of it here or there. 
but I've never really just done something head on with this subject, but it is so important. And so many people, and it's always that thing of, well, if we create a protection dog, he's going to be aggressive, right? We're going to make him mean. Not at all. If it's done properly, not at all. You shouldn't even know that he was protection trained, right? Unless you needed him or her. Okay, that's the way. So, of course, I understand from the public they don't have any concept, right, of how a protection dog should be or how the process works to creating one. You know, you naturally would think, well, if you create aggression and biting, then you're creating a lunatic, right? A dog you got to be careful with that's just going to bite people because you're teaching them that. That is not true. Not at all. Okay, so very important. Okay, and, and I want to counter all those things I hear on a weekly basis all the time. Socialize, socialize, socialize. 